today we are going to wire a speed controller, not this one, into this black foot. This is what I call a mechanical speed controller. Okay. And this is a servo that runs it. Same exact kind as a turning servo. Okay. And it has an arm that would hook in one of these holes and move this. And moving across this coil in this moving across this coil would change the speeds because the more voltage it gets, the more the more go it gets. So we cut this out so we could get a digital one in, which has a different plug, but we have receiver for that plug. A different receiver for it. And that simply fits in the right way. Plugs in. It all plugs in, so we'll only have to chop these off and wire. Well, not yet, because we don't know motor. we don't know if the motor works, right? So let's get the body off here. And hook a battery to the motor. And let's see if the motor works, because we haven't tested this motor yet. We, we don't know if the motor actually goes. We so. also know that this tire slips. Well, that's a future thing, right? That's not a big deal. So if you stop it, it slips. And if that moves on the motor, you're missing, you're missing out on traction. Well, let's set this up so the wheels are off the ground. And we'll hook a battery to this motor. And we'll see if the motor goes, right? It says it's a high-performance motor on. Well, I noticed that when I was looking at it earlier... It has four pranks instead of two. Yeah, but I noticed earlier these tongs were pushed up against the motor a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think that'll make them short out. So let's make sure those aren't touching that. We want them to be out far enough they're not touching. Alright, so we need to hook one wire to here. And then we need another wire hooked to the other side, right? So I can reach it. This is the there. benefit of tiny fingers. Alright, and then we're going to take a regular RC car battery. We're going to try to get this one wedged in here, and then we're just going to try to touch the other one, okay? And see if it goes... Whee! And see if it goes... I guess the motor's still good, right? Yep. So later on we can wire that motor up, and that'll plug into these two wires. But these plugs we can't have. I don't think we have any of those plugs, so we'll have to come up with something else. We maybe we'll just solder it in for reels. Forever. I think we should probably solder in it forever. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna replace this old-fashioned speed controller with this new high tech. Well, it's not really high tech. These are actually cheaper. I think this costs more than the than the electronic speed controller. You can't have anything on this heat sink or else it'll overheat and maybe even melt. It gets hot, right? Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, they all had these. And I think what they've determined is that it's just better to have less moving parts. So now it's all controlled in here. This might not last as long. I mean, this will last forever, right? Mm -hmm. This might not last as long, but it wasn't that expensive. So we want to wire this in. It's and I think $12. I think we can wedge it in here somewhere out of the way. See, we can get it in. I'd like to get it inside the body. That way, if we wreck this thing, yeah, it won't hurt it any, right? I plan on if I wreck it in four, it's going to hit that metal plate and six are going to twin right off the body. So, I think what we could do first, we need to get power to this system. So, we can't do anything until we can plug this in to the motor and this into here to power this. So I think we should probably start by wiring the motor in and getting this attached temporarily so we can test our stuff. We could glue down some Velcro because... I think we're going to glue it underneath. I think we're going to put it on inside the body if we can so in case it won't break. We don't have a battery. We don't need a battery anymore so we could just put it inside this battery door and it wire needs that, it. needs this battery still. So this that battery goes inside this battery door? Yeah. That battery goes underneath here. Like that. That's where it goes. This, this this has the same frame as the frog. Not exactly, but it has the same gearbox and battery. And it's almost the same frame. frame. They changed the suspension and they added some extra parts. But basically, it's the frog frame, right? Mm -hmm. That's all right. The frog may be seen in a future video. We're we'll up to decide where we put the switch for the power too, off and on switch. Maybe there's a switch hole. I don't think there is on these because on the frog, it's out on the side. It hooks out here somewhere. We can figure out a place to put it. We could put it under the body so you ha you can take the body off, turn on the switch, and then put the body back on. So this battery goes yeah, like so, right? And that little pin drives in like mm -hmm. in the frog. Goes like that. 
and then we have this running up to whatever we got. And we're going to need an antenna. We don't have an antenna wire in here either, do we? Oh. So maybe... We're going to have to have an antenna wire. And that'll be this wire right here. Oh, yeah. So we just don't have a wire to connect to. But it'll probably get good enough signal for what we do. But we'll see. So where do you want to start? Uh, probably wiring this thing to the motor. You think we should get the motor and hooked up? Yep, that would be the easiest part. And once we click these plugs, wire the motor. Yeah. All we'll have to do is plug everything in, put a battery on, and bam! I got the clip stuck. Missed. That's what I like about these two years. I missed the hole and got the clip stuck. Hold on. Get out of there. Get out of there. Yeah, I got stuck good too. See how I missed the hole? Mm -hmm. oh, there we go. Nope. Not yet. There we go. Alright, so that's got to come out of there. Battery come out of there. Alright then. And instead of going sideways like I did that time, I'm going to make sure this goes all the way in straight like that. Alright. Well, let's try to get um, wires hooked to this motor. I think this already has solder on it, and that one already has solder on it. Couldn't we just go well, just that one? And bam. We could, but that all that's awful short. We might want to put that somewhere else, right? Yeah, we'll probably need yeah, to. So we need to add some short. wires. So we need to go find some wire. And they need to be pretty thick too. Yeah, we had trouble with that last time. We don't have a lot of that kind of wire laying around, do we? Mm-hmm. Well, let's pause this and see if we can go find mm -hmm. some wire. We cut the plug wires from an old battery. I cut them off and then dad cut the plug off. We're going to use these to hook on the motor and hopefully to this speed controller. We might even be able to insert them into these plug holes. Maybe. We had those because we had a battery that wasn't good, right? Mm -hmm. Since we had a bad battery, it wasn't working anyway. Well, we can use the wires off of that because there's no fix in that dead battery. We just need to recycle that. Uh, we, we are actually reusing that battery already because... We're using the wires off of it, right? But we're using, I'm using it as a weight for the Jeep that right. we probably saw in a So we need to strip the ends of these first because we want to hook them to this motor. They make special strippers, so. They do. You but should probably use those. Well, I don't know what you did with them. I don't know where you have them. And that is just for you viewers. Yeah, you, you don't want to tell me where you have them because you don't know either, right? I do know, but I'm... I'm going to be horrible and let you mm, I it's see. a bad way. I don't know if I believe you. Anyway, we'll strip these wires off. And then we can try to solder them to the motor. What I don't know is if it matters which side is forward and reverse on this motor. I guess we could kind of check with the battery, couldn't we? Because I would think that the power... The red normal would go to forward, right? Mm -hmm. So let's find our battery. Why? What? Wonder what these other two prangs go to? They're connected together. Remember, I said that they they basically it's just got a bridge across them. Mm -hmm. So if you look this prong and this prong, they're actually connected together. If you watch like this one and this one, if you look, they're actually connected through this copper plate right there. So it's just extra connecting points, but they actually still connect together. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. They're actually still connected, so it's all right. All right, so we're going to see which way is forward, all right? So I'm going to hook this wire here. Mm -hmm. That's reverse, right? Mm -hmm. So that means this is forward normal. So we want our red wire to go there. Okay? Okay. So we get out the old burn o -matic. Well, we're going to get that soldering iron. iron. We want the red wire to go there. And there's already a little solder on here, and there's a hole in there if you look. They soldered over. There's a little bit of a hole there. So we're going to see if we can get this wire to go through that hole, wrap it, and then we'll solder it real good, okay? Since this is already tinned, we'll use that. All right, wire one. First wire. Like that. And once you finish it, all you have to do is plug everything in, hook a battery mm -hmm. up, and ring. I'll hook it all back up, right? And probably right. fix the body. Or buy a new one. I don't think there's much fix in that body. We can probably use it still, but it's not in great shape, right? I think we should just suck it up and buy a brand new expensive body. I'm not buying an expensive body. We're going to try to get by with something else. These, they're too expensive. 
Are we gonna buy the cheapest? It's just a toy, man. The cheapest body, like the monster beetle or something? I don't know. We'll have to see what we can get. I'm not gonna go crazy for a toy, though. I mean, they're fun to play with, but I don't wanna go too crazy. All right, got a hole in that one. All right, gonna solder this up. We have two black foot frames. One not complete and one complete. I think we'll be able to get them both going though. I think we'll be able to get both of them going. We'll just have to get a couple more parts for the other one. Kind of got this thing precariously balanced here, but hopefully we'll be all right. Yeah, I should have took the other one up on the end first. Look how easy that one went. That one's soldered right up. It's got an ugly spot in it, but... This is black butt number two. Okay, we'll don't knock everything down, throw on the other one. All right. All right. I got the excess wires off this one, too. Like so. They both have skittering gears and not rack and pinion. Come on, get out of there. Eh. Wires got folded down before they cut. I can't get them to stand up enough to get under my cutters. Come on, get out of there. All right. All right, good enough. Right, wire goes up there. I think. I think. It's gonna work. Good. All right. So now let me start hooking some stuff up. Let me strip these wires here because we're gonna have to hook these in too, right? And we don't have plugs that match the speed controller, so, so I we think lob them off. I think we're just gonna cut these off. And I think we have enough wire there to wire them in. So let's let's just cut these off. Make sure the insulators are over them. Why why are some wires made of aluminum and some made of copper? Copper is expensive, and aluminum is cheaper. And I thought copper pipe was cheap. Not really. So like. Uh, maybe 12 bucks right. a piece. I don't know about what they actually cost. All right, so we need to figure out where we're going to put this speed controller. The factory one goes around here somewhere. Then on the car, we could put it there. It should be well enough protected if we put it here. I think maybe next to the server. I don't know if it'll fit. Is what I'm trying to get across to you here, bud. I don't know if we have room because it's going to have to go. And we're going to, have to be able to reach these wires. See. It doesn't want to fit very good down there. And what are we going to attach it to? We'd have to glue it to the servo, which would be kind of hard. I think it'd be easier to glue it here. Mm -hmm. We could always move it later, right? And this will keep it from getting hot, because look how high this is. It's not around anything else, right? So I think it might go right there. And plus, look, we got to be able to reach our battery plug. You looking? Battery plug here would reach our battery plug, right? Mm -hmm. So I think this is a good spot. I think we'll double sticky it here. So we'll get some double stick tape. And we'll just stick it on there. And I think that also would make it keep it so it gets a little airflow, isn't trapped in there where it can't get air. It should make it work pretty good. So I think we'll plan on going there, which means I think I want these wires to go under this bracket like I have them. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure we run our wires we want them. We could always unbolt that, but it'd be nice if they just went the right way to begin with, right? So I think we'll put them there. We can wire these together. And then we can wire these together. Oops, that one needs got a little corrosion on that. Let's clean that wire off before we solder it together. It was an old battery. Yeah, that old battery had been sitting around a while, right? Get the. I came with the Mitsubishi. Dad had that when he was a kid. I think the flux and the solder would clean that off anyway. But just in case, let's go ahead and take a second and make it nice and shiny first. No dust, dirt, and grime allowed. Well, it is allowed in the entire shop, but it isn't allowed on wires. All right, hook those together, and we'll solder those together. Oh, you know what we forgot? 
heat shrink tubing. Ah. You're going to want to cover those, right? Yeah. We don't have to cover the motor, do we? Nope. Yeah. I think it should have a cover, but it didn't come one. I had to look that up, right? It seemed like it should have a cover, it's, but it doesn't. it doesn't. So I kind of prefer it would have had a little cover on it, but we'll get by. If it causes us trouble later, maybe we can make some kind of a cover for it. But that's the way it's supposed to go on. Seems like you get a lot of dirt in those brushes that way. If it causes us trouble. Maybe it's supposed to get we'll dirt in later. the brushes. Maybe it makes a good dust blower. I don't think so. I think it's going to clog them up. I guess it makes it so you can clean them better though, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the idea. You can clean them easier. I kind of don't like that this goes... They should have put them side by side. They kind of space out the plug wires with these wires here. kind of wish that they were alternated so we have both wires. That way one could go this way and could go that way. But oh well. I wish they wouldn't have alternated, alternated the wires. Yeah, what do you want for 10 bucks, right? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't that expensive. Mm, let's see if we can solder these together. Soldering irons always let smoke, so don't go get your fire extinguisher and call 911 when you're soldering. But it can catch on fire if you're not careful. Well, it's hot. you got to be careful with it, right? But it shouldn't catch on fire right off. It's going to be hot. Make sure you're protecting yourself, and you make sure when you're done you don't set it against stuff that will burn or melt, right? All right, got those. Um. That should be soldered together. We need our heat gun. So we can shrink our heat shrink, right? Do not mistake it for a hair dryer. Well, it's basically just a hair dryer, isn't it? But it's, it's hotter than a hair dryer. You burn your hair off. You get the heat shrink tubing slid up over them. We need to buy some more heat shrink tubing. I only got this one size. It's not really the right size that I need. Plus it's green. I'd rather it be black or something, right? I'd rather it be black too. It doesn't change the way it works, but you know, it's kind of weird as well. No, there is one spot of green on this black foot. Well, tubing. most people don't care about what color the heat shrink is. But for some reason, we do. All right. Turn on our super duper hair dryer. Make sure it gets hot. Okie dokie. I smell what smells like heat tubing, which means we might be getting this thing running. Well, so we got that. Shouldn't we test the servo? Well, we can test it now because we need a battery. We couldn't test the servo because we can't plug a battery in without that, right? Mm -hmm. So we can't, par char pa can't power this until we figure out how everything else works. So it's a, it's a process. Look at this. Velcro off? Velcro off of there. We can, might need that later, but for right now we won't need it. Let me see if I got some um, sticky tape. This is the wrong kind, but it might work. This doesn't have any foam. This is just double-sided. It doesn't have any of the, the cushy foam. Mm -hmm. and the cushy foam helps it not come loose because it gives it a little bit of give. We can probably make it work with this until we can find the other kind. If it comes loose, we'll re-tape it, right? Mm -hmm. That's we, the power of duct tape. What we want to do is get this tape down so we don't have to keep moving it around. I'm just going to do a bad job of it right now. We'll clean it up in a bit. My scissors over here. Um, I can't believe this receiver controls this entire car. Mm -hmm. Doesn't do too much. It just runs a servo and changes the motor speed. RC cars are basically robots crazy. that are programmed to drive. Basically, it's a robot. We could have used the same servo and the same motors to do other stuff, right? Mm -hmm. We might even be able to use the motor and the servo to drive a real car. National Geographic well, says you could, car. you could, but that'd be kind of dangerous. This car, if you wreck this car, what happens? You might get a, a bruise on your ankle or something, right? Mm -hmm. If you wreck a real car, though, it could be dangerous, right? That's cool. All right. See if we can get this to tape. All right. So we want this to stick here. And the foam tape would work better, but this is what we got. We'll make it work. 
that. All right, so that's stuck there. Now, we have this servo receiver here that we need to stick down to. And I'm going to stick it right here in that spot, okay? Make sense? Stick it on and take it for a test drive. On video. We're, we're a little way from a test drive yet, but well, we, we haven't have got it wired up yet. All we have to do is plug it all in. <laughs> Maybe. And add an antenna. We'll have to see. And hook a battery up and get a controller and drive it. Well, that's the thing. I don't video. know. I've never tried this controller. It might not work. I'll have to see. We, I'm telling you, we could rob it from the frog. Well, let's not take parts from other mm -hmm. stuff that already work. That doesn't make sense. Breaking something that works to fix something that don't work doesn't make sense, does it? We'll probably have to get different tape later, but that'll work for now. All right, so there's our antenna. Get it down here for now. And in the long run, actually, I think it, yeah, no, it goes through here. This little hole right here. Mm -hmm. I can't find it. Of course you can't. There's they a hole there. It so you can. There's a hole there if I can find it. And it's through here. And then if we have a wire, it'd go in there, hang up there, right? And then this screw holds it in. Let's get a, we'll make a wire for it later. All right. So, you can just have a big hanging down. We wire. have a switch. We'll have to figure out where to put the switch still. Maybe we can stick it somewhere else where it's out of the way. We won't worry about that in a bit. Now, we have this controller. Where'd it go? There it is. And on most of these, servo one is right and left, and servo two is forward and backwards. But we'll see which one is which here. Camera guy. Yeah, we ran out of memory, didn't we? All right, so we need to get these plugged in. So we're going to say that this speed controller is going to be channel one. channel one. And we went this way with the white wire on the inside, if I recall. And in there. I guess we can plug this one in to see. We're going to have a little extra wire, but we can clean it up later, right? Are you telling me you're going to give the wire the chop? No, I think we'll just tie it up. Make it tie up nice and neat. Okay. I'm to execute some wire. So we got those. Got those. I think we're ready to maybe try it, but we got. I'll go get some. We need a bunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. All right. We need a whole bunch of batteries. Let's see if this thing. Yeah, it says charged. It says it's on. Uh, make sure our switch is in the off position, right? Off. Something tells me. I, I kind of expected that someone would have played with the switch and left it in the on position. All right, battery plugged in. The paint servo works. Should be off. I don't see no going. Still blinking. I don't think that's good. Turn it on. Yeah, we ain't got no signal yet. I think that blink means it's not finding the receiver. The this controller. I think that's what that means. All right, we'll have to think about it. So we found out that this controller, we lost it. Don't work. That one. It don't work, or the receiver doesn't work. One of the two isn't talking, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't know how to test that right away. We Maybe we can test it later. But so, we bought a new one. It looks expensive, but it was really kind of cheap. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Looks We're going to try that one. Expensive. And this is actually a screen right Yeah, it has here. an LED display. I don't know why we need that, but it has it. And it comes with this tiny little receiver. So we're going to use this. So we bought new double-sided tape, too, because we never did find our old double-sided tape. Actually, we found it when we were out, right? Yep. We just ran out. So let's put some double-sided tape and on this. And they robbed us six inches of tape because they didn't wax the roll. Yeah, it stuck to the roll for the last bit, didn't it? That's all right. 
we got a giant roll now. That'll last us a good long time. So put some double-sided tape on our receiver. I'll stick that in there. That's going to last for a good, oh, maybe I'd say 10 years, and then we're probably going to be well, out. I don't know if it'll last that long, but it'll probably last a long time, right? So we're going to set this. I think I'm going to set all the way on this. Let's set it this way. So the antenna goes backwards. Because mm -hmm. that's a really tiny receiver. So let's set it so it fits right there. And if you're wondering, we changed the wires. Yeah, we had to change the wires on the motor because they got hot and melty, right? So we want to get a little bit bigger wire. These aren't the right wires either. I think we're going to have to order some wire. It was actually only the hot wire that melted, but yeah. Yeah. Too much resistance of these big tires. Yeah, I think the motor isn't really working well with these tires. So we might have to... Get to a bigger motor. Well, we're going to change bearings in here and we'll check the gears and see if we can get it to work a little better. Because inside here is bushings. And yeah. You can Pop the bushings but I can, out and put in bearings. I can feel that it doesn't want to work very well. So we'll check that too. We'll, we'll see if we can get it to roll better. But first, let's see if we can get it to receive, have a receiver work, okay? Okay. So we have these two wires. We have steering, which should go to channel one. And when we're done, we'll probably double-sided tape the switch in too. Yeah, we can do that. Because we'd have to drill the screws through the bottom, which would probably go straight through the wire. And we have this one, which is channel two. Channel 2 is speed, and we're claiming channel 1 is the steering. And this is a 3 channel, but we ain't going to use number 3. I don't know what number 3 we would use it for. Probably a camera or accessory. Well, maybe some. It would take pictures. It wouldn't be like video camera, right? But we can maybe look at it later. And then we got this on-off switch, which I think we had. I think we should put it on this side. Like right here. Maybe we can stick it to there. What do you think? Make it work? Alright. Well, we do have an old drone camera since I, I wrecked the drone into a tree. I don't think it works, though. It needs a That has to plug into the um, receiver that made for it, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't think we can just use that by popping it over here. I think it had to have the whole connector thing going on. So that ain't going to help us. I bet they make cameras that you can use. And most of the cars, if, if you buy them, it'll probably have a mechanical speed control. Not one of these fancy, smashy ESCs in it. Do what are you talking about? The, it won't, if you buy an RC car, it probably won't have oh, this. The, only the old ones. Digital one. Yeah, only old ones. The new ones all come with these electronic speed controllers because the, the, that mechanical one is old technology. It, the, if you remember the Mitsubishi videos, it had one. I think all the new ones come with this electronic speed controller. It's cheaper and they work good, right? That one seemed yeah. to work pretty good to me. I don't think it had any problem working it. And the grasshopper other than, came with one. Other than this. Alright, we ain't got any resistance on the front wheels. So all the resistance from the motor has to be coming from the back end. I mean, those spin good, right? So if we're getting resistance, too much resistance, it has to be from here. So and our the gears... the servo won't turn right either. Yeah, we need to think about that too. It doesn't turn enough. Even if we adjust the, the controller. Well, we'll talk about that. So let's look and see if we got it working now. That's the trick, right? One thing at a time, right? So when we plug this in, turn our... Controller on. It should go beep beep deep, 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 and then this should go on. Where did my switch go? Let's make sure we're not. Oh, we're already on. See, we need to steer a little better. Need a little more turn on the steering. We'll have to look at that. But it does work again, right? Mm -hmm. but those back wheels. I think there's something grabbing in here that isn't turning very good, so maybe we'll look at those too. But we did get it working, so it just took their new controller because this old controller, either the receiver doesn't work anymore or this doesn't work anymore. One of the two, and I don't know which. Maybe we'll just give up because this was that was a cheaper way to fix it, right? Mm -hmm. So let's turn this off and unplug our battery because we know it works. You want to put the body on it? Yeah. We need to get this fixed too. This body's pretty bad. And the front end's cracked too, so well, that yeah. might go so fling I, I think, off. I think when we when we put you wanted to put glass in here, right? Yeah, Lex on. So I think we put glass in here. We can glue the glass to hold this, and it'll, you know, attach it for real, mm -hmm. and it'll fix that, and then it'll look okay. And if we put glass back here, the same thing, it'll hold that. The hood, we'll just add a piece of plastic under here to try to fix that. I think that. we might make a Lexon tailgate and a Lexon Yeah, we might too. do something about that, but let's worry about getting it fixed first, and then we'll have to, this glass is curved. We'll have to do something about that. But yeah, the body's not in great shape, is it? It's been roughed up a bit. I think the, what happened to it is someone crashed it real bad, 
and then rooted it for parts. That's why it didn't have a speed yeah, I don't know. Yeah, well, they get abused, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, people... Let's, let's get the battery in it first so I can that turn it That probably explains why a few bits were cracked, but... And all the electronics were taken. They probably wrecked it so badly that they're like, this ain't fixable, and then rooted it for parts for another car. Both of them, probably. Like he had get there this battery person. in there. Come on. Hands to do everything, do I? There we go. Battery in. Brace your nug. Burn her over. <coughs> the only reason we put a tape paper towel over the battery is because the battery was, would have weeble wobbled around in there if we didn't put the paper towel. A little towel. sloppy in there, isn't it? Where's my grease? Happens in the frog, too. There it is. Got the cap on our grease. The frog has basically the same frame, only in gray. And the servo actually, will actually turn right. But it's a high-tech right. servo. So we were using these clips. Because we, because it didn't come with its original clips. But on the Mitsubishi, the clips are on chains. Well, so then, let's bend these into a better clip design. Because right now they're just all wadded up, right? Clips are now on wire, though. But. That one goes in. That one could be tighter, too, couldn't it? They're not really springy enough for this, but we'll make them temporarily work. They'll work for right now. And then the front needs a clip, too, although it doesn't stand very good because it's mostly busted, right? Yeah. Not a lot left on the front of it. But if you don't clip it down, it'll just fly backwards. Yeah, it probably will. And the Mitsubishi has metal pins. This one has plastic ones. Well, I think if we decide to use this body and we'll fix it, then we'll change the pins too, okay? Okay. All right, so there's that. Carry that out with you. Yeah, I gotta try to build me, but it's damn film. Oh, got her stuck already. When you run it for a while and then see if the motor gets hot, right? Because that's what happened last time. Sounds like the gears are clicking. Do you, do you hear that gear? Yeah. Something's going wrong with the gears. We need to test the thing and you just keep parking it on big sticks. Yeah, that's something going wrong with the gears still. Yeah. I think the yeah. gear on the motor. 